completion percentage standpoint, the most accurate game of, of, of your college career. What was working well for you uh, in, in that game? Yeah, I mean, I think most things were working pretty well for us as offense. Uh, you know, Coach Cramsey put us in good positions, I feel like, the whole entire night. Um, and, and then, you know, we played well for the majority of the time. Uh, the reason that we had a couple stall outs in the third quarter was a couple drops. Um, and then I had the one, I had the one uh, in the red zone where I kind of got hit and I should have slid the protection the other way. Um, but, you know, just throwing and catching and having good play calls and executing against our defense. And so when that's, when that's happening in the second half, after you guys had the start you had in the first half, what is the, the conversation on the sideline and, and trying to continue to get that back going? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, just play the next play, play the next series, uh, and just go from there. Because, you know, after the first half, we felt like, you know, they couldn't really stop us. The only thing that would stop us from, you know, being successful as offense it would be ourselves and beating ourselves up. Um, and, you know, we kind of drained a little bit of the clock, too, and did a good job of that because uh, we had that lead, you know, going into halftime. So um, just, you know, staying consistent and finishing the game because uh, that's what we had to do. We had a couple opportunities to do that um, in the fourth quarter, just, you know, drain the clock out, um, but we didn't. But luckily, we got the got the ball back with the opportunity to win the game, and we did that. So, um, just playing all 60 minutes because that's what it took. Um, so we definitely honed in on you know trying to close them out earlier. Uh, that was our main focus, uh, you know, watching the film um, and learning. But uh, just happy to get the win. Watching it back, what did you see change from the first half to the second half offensively? Um, I mean, you know, just not executing on third down, uh, just. You know, a couple drops and, you know, a couple opportunities that I missed as well. You know, uh, we had a, a little bootleg um, on a third down in our own territory. I should have got a little bit more depth out of my drop and then hit Kobe Drake on an out route. Um, but I kind of, you know, the first guy wasn't open, so I just kind of tried to make a guy miss and get it, and I didn't get it. Um, so uh, there's definitely some opportunities for growth and to learn from on those third downs in the, in the third quarter. But um, just... You know, we still had some success on offense in the second half as well, so um, it was enough to win the game. That's all that matters, so just kudos to our guys. Coach Littlefield talked about after the game, you know, he found a way to win. It wasn't pretty, he found a way. Is that something the whole season, like finding a way? Is that something you guys have talked about? And how does that actually manifest itself in those conversations? That play? Yeah, I mean, I feel like we talk about it all the time. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be pretty. Uh, you just have to get a win. You know, this day and age, you know, everyone's going to be talented. Everyone's going to be well coached. Um, so it's hard to get a win in college football, regardless of the team you're playing. You know, if you're playing, you know, Arkansas, Arkansas State or Missouri, uh, it's going to be hard. And so it just comes down to execution and, you know, being consistent and playing the whole entire game. And you'll give yourself a chance. And we've had a chance in every game we've played. Um, and, you know, we're at the position we are, you know, six and two. Um, so you just got to, you know, prepare for South Florida and, and you know, work hard in practice and try and execute on Saturday. So, uh, since you've been starting at quarterback here, uh, you guys have the longest uh, streak of you know 20 or more points. So what does that say about this offense and just how dynamic it is, though you might not always get the result, but the fact that you guys can put up points? Yeah, I mean, uh, this is actually something that I learned after the game. Um, like, I've thrown a touchdown pass in every single game I've played in college, and so we, we, we got the ball back in that fourth quarter and I hadn't thrown a touchdown pass. So I was like, you know, I gotta keep, gotta keep the streak alive. You know, we're gonna go down, we're gonna, we're gonna score. We're, I'm gonna throw a touchdown, we're gonna win this game. Um, but I thought that was funny. But I mean, you know, I don't feel like that's much of an accomplishment to be honest, uh, just about wins and losses. But I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a cool, uh, cool stat to have, I guess, just to know that we, you know, I scored 21 or more points in however so many games. So, I mean, just got to keep scoring and, and, you know, play well to win games. So. And talk about the touchdown pass was to uh, Joe. Obviously, he had that drop in the fourth. Uh, what were the conversations like after, you know, uh, UNT came down to score? Like, what were you trying to tell him? Because it was the same play, but he was on the opposite side of the field. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, he just kept the faith and, you know, it was all him really. You know, I didn't, I didn't tell him after the first drop. I didn't say anything to him really, because you know I have faith in him that he's going to bounce back, and and he did. Um, so, 
I mean, I wasn't going to go over there and, you know, say anything to him. I, I knew he was going to make the play whenever he needed to make the play. And, you know, Rock, you know, got a little banged up. And so we had Towski. Yeah, I think we had Towski, Kobe, and Joe in the game at receiver. So just, you know, shout out to those guys for stepping up in, in a key, key moment for our team uh, and for our season. Uh, and then Joe made that big, great play, obviously. So, um, you know, he manifested it. And he's been working. He's been working really hard uh, this off season to, you know, better himself. And uh, I'm just really happy for him for him to make that play for our team. What do you think is clicking for you guys on, on, on the road? The last couple of years, road games haven't been as good as they have been this year. What's changed, or what's the difference in your mind? You think? Um, I mean, I just I just go back to you know the bond that our team has. Um, I feel like we have great leadership, and we have you know kids who want to want to win and uh, they work they work really hard throughout the week uh, in preparation for the game so um, and I mean it we've had a bunch of close road losses my first two years so I mean you know the ball the balls rolled our way uh, a little bit this year so just gotta you know continue playing good football sound football and just go from there back to that touchdown pass when the game's on the line, obviously it was homecoming for you. Just a lot of emotions in that game. To throw it up like that in the end zone, to, to see Joe come down with it, um, just like how elated were you? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it kind of didn't feel really real. Um, I just looked around to see if there was any flags. There wasn't, and then I just kind of ran to the sideline. Uh, it was a great moment. Uh, it was really important for our, for our team going forward. Um, just got to, you know, carry it over into this week and. You know, throughout the rest of the season. To go 0 and 4 in one score games last year, and then 3 and 1 so far this year, is there something that feels different, or is that like the ball's bouncing away? You guys are more mature. Um, I mean, I'd say a little bit of both. You know, I, I don't necessarily believe in maturity. It's just, you know, I, maybe like experience. Um, but you know, we just execute a little bit better to to win those games. You know, Navy is the first one I think of. Uh, defense saved us. Um, this one, you know, we had the game-winning drive and we had opportunities to put it away. And then um, I can't think of the other two one-score one games. Boise State, Missouri. So uh, Boise State special teams play. And then Missouri obviously didn't win that one. But um, just playing sound football and, you know, having the leaders step up when they need to make plays and tell the team, you know, what we need to do to, you know, win the game. So. After big plays, is, is that a, is that a immediate re reflex for a quarterback to check and make sure there's no flags on the ground? I don't know, <laughs> but I kind of do that a lot. Probably a little too much, but uh, I was just you know really happy in the moment. Checked around and then went and celebrated. Now that you know that streak of throwing touchdown every game, are you gonna think about that going into the game or? No, <laughs> or maybe I didn't know about it before, but uh, I probably won't think about it now. So. What was your Halloween costume? I didn't have one, but my girlfriend and I did uh, try and you know give out candy. We didn't have too many people come by our house because it's a little dark in our neighborhood. There's no lights, but uh, we had we had the bowl out. We we're sitting out there in the cold, but kids probably thought it was too cold to go trick or treating. So we didn't have too many people. But uh, my dog, uh, he had a little uh, jingle bell collar, so he was dressed up, I guess, as a uh, Santa or an elf or something. But we didn't dress up. I didn't. But you got all the candy for yourself. I did. I kept all the candy. All right, you guys. Thank you.